What up, y'all? T-Biz here, and uh, just enjoying the rest of my weekend evening, just kind of rounding things out. Wanted to work on some uh, content and stuff for uh, Instagram today. Didn't do too much and did mostly uh, a lot of YouTube stuff. Just trying to pump out some more con content and stuff just um, just to keep uh, people that do check out my channel. You know, I appreciate it. I really, really do. Believe me, you, you don't even know. I, I really do appreciate it that everybody that stops by, all you, all you guys and everybody rocks that, that comes by and then always leaves comments I, I love you guys you guys are cool um it's the only reason i keep this channel going is for you guys that come check it out because and for myself because and for family or friends whoever because what if i die tomorrow and you could come and watch these videos and hang out with me you know and check out toys and stuff stuff i like so anyways without any further ado we're gonna look at um these are my recent gi joe pickups uh front and back mostly all this year uh, some are from last year's. I got two honorable mentions from last year, which are on the far right in the back, and um, and then most of these are just like uh, new ones that I got this year and stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna start off with um, with uh, can't remember which was the, which one was the first one that I picked up as far as getting new stuff. Um, I know last year I got Zap, so that that was a that was a big deal getting Zap. Um, and then there was uh, let me see. I don't know, I'm kind of lost, because I know last year's pickups were Dr. Mindbender, Super Soldier, and Zap, and then all the other ones, um, they're pretty much, I picked them up this year, and I think it might have been toss-up between Breaker, Rock and Roll, and Snake Eyes were the first few that I picked up, and then also, um, also, uh, let me see, um, And, uh, who is it? Yeah, um, Baroness and, uh, Major Blood and stuff. But, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, let's just go through and check them out and stuff and look at them. Here's Major Blood. I um, always like Major Blood. He's a pretty, uh, scurvy character as far as old cartoon and stuff goes. He's a pretty bad villain. He has a bionic, cool kind of bionic arm. And a weird, like, kind of, like, arrow laser gun thingy that, I guess it was, like, some kind of weird bolt gun or something. But yeah, I don't remember that well. But uh, I guess these are dog tags of uh, Joe's that he took out and stuff like that. But I always thought he was cool. I thought he had a ridiculous accent and stuff. And um, yeah, he's, he's one of my favorite villains. And I think when I was little, my mom got my mom used to do a lot of Mellowways because my mom I'm an only child, so my mom loved me a whole bunch. So she'd always get me Mellowway stuff. I was spoiled. But yeah. But um, yeah. And uh, here's uh, the Baroness. My earliest memories of the Baroness and a lot of female G.I. Joes were um, older kids making them do um, adult, very adult things on the bus with the uh, female Joe figures. Those are a lot of my early memories of those figures. <laughs> it's a very comedic thing, very messed up thing, but hey, you gotta grow up sometime. and um, Or not grow up, but uh, yeah, Baroness is always cool. I always dug her accent because she kind of reminded me of uh, Natasha from uh, Bullwinkle and stuff. And, uh, and plus in the movies, uh, I forgot who played her in the movies, but, um, Sienna Miller, hot, 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 but this is before that, you know, cool Cobra backpack, just cool. And some of these are as is, and some of them I've had to put new O-rings and some of them just like from sellers have put new O-rings in them for me. So, you know, either way it's, uh, it's cool, you know, and, uh, yeah, her gun fell out, but I want to get that back in there. Okay, let's put her back and stand her up. These gels, most of them stand pretty well, not too bad. Some, some of them need a little assistance. And this was a newer one, newer pickup was the Cobra Soldier. Got this one about a week ago. Came in the mail like this last week, yeah, a couple days ago. And uh, yeah, uh, can't have a Cobra Army or any kind of Cobra Scout without a Cobra Soldier. So yeah, got this guy in, had to replace his O-ring because it was pretty loose. And um, yeah, did that. And you can find a bunch of uh, cool tutorials, um, even on like retro blasting. I'm not a big fan of retro blasting, but I will give him credit. He does a good little uh, Joe repair tutorial. So stop by him and uh, watch that for a good Joe tutorial. And uh, this is one of my other early Joe pickups with Snake Eyes. Always like Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is very cool because he's a very faceless character, um, like Boba Fett and stuff like that. And, uh, and he's just cool because he's got ninja skills and he's a commando and he can shoot you, blow you up, do whatever, kill you, assassinate you, do whatever. He's, 
he can be a disguise he cannot he can he's just i don't know he's he's one of the best joes ever very cool joe one of my favorites one of my all-time favorites but yeah he, he was an early pickup but the first joe i ever got when i was a kid back in the early 80s um i don't have yet again because um I don't have short fuse. I used to have short fuse. I used to have all these years ago, most of them. But in the great garage sale of years ago, my grandma's house, I got rid of so much stuff. Maybe that stuff's still there. I don't know. It could be. It could not be. And this is rock and roll. I never had rock and roll as a kid. I have them now, so it's pretty cool. He is complete. Um, I have his file card somewhere, but I couldn't find it. But yeah, it's good to have uh, rock and roll again. Or not again, but now. Because I never had him before. At least I don't think I did. It's been a long time since the 80s, and I'm about to turn 40 in a month, so that tells you how old I am. <laughs> you know, that, that should, you know, cue you in. And here's Zap. This isn't a straight arm Zap. Most of my old Joes are straight arms, but this is a, um, a swivel arm Zap, which I would like to get a straight arm one, but uh, this is a swivel arm. And um, pretty cool. It's got a really cool bazooka. Just a really nice... Really nice figure, backpack and everything. Just really cool. And I think he has the same face sculpt as Grunt, I believe. I think him and Grunt have the same face sculpt. And here's another prized possession in a recent pickup from about a month ago, I think. Uh, Scarlet. Scarlet's cool because she's got the shurikens or the Chinese, you know, throwing stars or whatever and stuff. She's got some cool boots. She doesn't have peg holes, which is weird. Out of all the Joes, she doesn't have any peg holes. A little grenade right there. Just a cool redhead. Kind of the short, you know, short hair. Kind of like a mom haircut or whatever or something, you know. But, uh, yeah, she's cool. She's wearing a onesie, which is kind of hot and kind of weird and kind of not hot in a way. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But, um, yeah. I think that's a camera right there. I can't remember, but, yeah, she's cool. I always like Scarlet. And and before I did this video, I'd lost her crossbow and I had to search the whole house for it because I was I, I was so stoked about getting Scarlet that I was running all over the house and then I ended up dropping it in my um disc golf bag because I was like I think I showed Chris one day, my buddy Chris. I showed him uh, I was like, Yeah, look I got Scarlet, check this out. And I dropped the her crossbow in the um in my disc golf bag. So I had to go around play the detective and find it in the disc golf bag so yeah and uh here we go too yeah this is a uh, breaker this is another good pickup very very cool i'm not gonna plug his little thing in because i don't want it to bend and break so i'm just gonna leave it as it is maybe for a photo i'll do it or maybe i'll try to pick up another one you know a repro or something but yeah that's a breaker you gotta have your communication and your intelligence right there you know you gotta have that and then um, Zap. Here's Zap. I got Zap last year, maybe over a year ago. But I like Zap because Zap and Short Fuse because they had the cool little visor. And I always like that because it was kind of like a space, kind of in the 80s, it was kind of like a space age, kind of futuristic look for a Joe and stuff, or for at least a fantasy army figure and stuff. But yeah, it's a cool laser rifle. It's a cool figure. I don't know. I'm always going to love Zap. It's one of my favorite figures. I used to put the jump jet pack on him when I used to have it all the time. That was like my go-to accessory for him. Because I didn't have... I had the jump jet pack, but I didn't have the figure that came with the set. So, yeah. And then, this is not This is probably like a third wave figure. Third or fourth wave, I think. It's um, it's Quick Kick. I always like Quick Kick. I always thought he was really, really cool. Um, it's weird about Quick Kick. When you find him, he usually has a chip in his foot. Which kind of sucks. But, uh... Quick Kick was a big deal to get. Had to save up a lot of change and a lot of pennies to um, get him one summer when I was a kid. And uh, it's cool to have him again. He was, he was a cool guy. And just uh, I like his character on the cartoon and stuff. And uh, I like my karate guys because I don't know anything about uh, martial arts or anything. But uh, I always adored a lot of cool martial arts characters. And he kind of reminded me of like Bruce Lee in a way. So, you yeah. know, not so much, but a little bit, you know. And then here's Airborne. I used to have Airborne back in the day when I'd hang out with my jerkball cousin because that, that's probably one of my earliest memories of Airborne is hanging out with one of my jerkball cousins. And um, not not you, Zero. Not you because I, I love you, bro. You're one of my favorite cousins of all time. But um, but no, one of my cousins on my mom's side of the family that I don't like. So <laughs> I know that sounds crappy, but oh well, we're going to go there. But anyways, 
here's Airborne. Airborne's really cool. Um, yeah, good figure. Very cool. Kind of reminds me of my Uncle Raymond, or my cousin Zero's dad. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, Airborne's cool. You can't have Airborne without um, the Firefly, but I don't have the Firefly. I need to get it. My good buddy Count Stankus has it, but I need to get it again one of these days. But yeah, Airborne's cool. And um, my other goal is, too, since I have the headquarters again, um, I want to get all the figures that are featured on the box. You know, that, that's kind of a goal of mine to achieve. Here's another good one. Um, a cool guy on Instagram, Ed Lover, had a uh, had bought I think his one of his kids uh, um, uh, a gung ho, and that kind of inspired me to get myself one. So this is the first version of gung ho, right here, swivel arm and stuff. And yeah, gung ho is cool, really cool. Kind of looks like a village person, but still cool. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with little YMCA folks, but anyways. Oh, jeez. Good lord. Okay. Let me get that to stand. Oh, he's one of the ones that doesn't want to stand. And then here's one that's cool, but not so cool, because he's not as quite as complete as he could be, because he's missing his little cell phone thing, and maybe one other piece. But, um, this is Firefly, and I don't have his original gun, but I have a white gun for him, but, uh, I need to get him with his original accessories and stuff, but I like Firefly. You gotta have a saboteur around the G.I. Joe headquarters and stuff. And messing with the Joes. And, you know, trying to rig bombs in their vehicles or something. Or tracking devices or something. But yeah, Firefly is one of the top cool cool characters. Besides, on the good guy's side, he always kind of remind me of Beachhead and stuff. Or Beachhead remind me of him. And here, oop, just dropped him. But here's the Super Soldier. One of This figure is pretty interesting because I spent a lot of play time with this figure when I was a kid. Like, I played with him a lot when I had him. I can't remember if I sent off for him or not. Or just picked him up at the store. I think he was a Mellaway. But he might have been available at the store, too, at one point. But, um, I played with this dude a lot. Because he's supposed to be kind of like, I think, a Bionic uh, Super Soldier and stuff like that. Never did a review of him. I guess I should, but I never did. But, um, but yeah, I always liked this guy. I thought he was cool. Kind of, kind of have a... Kind of has, like, a Judge Dredd feel to him, maybe, or something like that. But, uh... Very interesting character. Got a really cool vac metal chrome machine gun. Or laser gun or whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, cool shield that you can look through, obviously. And uh, cool chrome helmet and chrome chest gear, everything chrome. So yeah, he's a pretty sick guy. Pretty cool character. And I just dropped his gun. Oh no. Retrieve that. Very reminiscent of the Transformers weapons of that era, too, with the back metal chrome. Let's stand him in the back. And this is probably my only fail for today, is um, I might have him complete, I might not. I think I have his little weird accessory with the box and the tube somewhere, but I don't know where it is, but that's your Dr. Mindbender. It looks very much like the Monopoly guy or the Pringles guy without any hair and maybe another village person. But um, very cool character. And there's his cape. Kind of dirty. But, uh, yeah. Cool cool character. Gotta have him if you're gonna have some Joes. But, yeah, that's pretty much my Joes from this year and last year. I know I might be missing a couple more, like the Range Viper. I had I have him, too, complete somewhere. But, um, but these mainly right here in the front are all important as far as being new. And then from Quick Kick to um, Firefly are pretty much all the pickups I've had from this year. Just trying to get my collection back up again and going. But anyways, uh, thanks for everybody for uh, tuning in and watching and stuff. And I'll have more Joes and stuff on the way. All right, thanks, y'all. Peace.